All right, you guys, so my picture frame, the wire underneath broke. Hit the ground, busted this. I love this. I brought this picture back from Italy years ago, and on the back it tells everything. It's a collage. It's a beautiful collage of all the things in Italy. I'll show, you, I'll show you in a second here. So when it comes to strength that I've found, E6000 is the number one thing. This thing works great on shoes. I mean, it's amazing. And self-leveling, and it's, I got the clear, they have black, all that. I use it on my golf shoes, everything. Let it let it um, cure for, 20, for 48 hours. I just overdo it. I'll tie a rubber band around my shoes. Next one is, you know, the hardeners. You can add these together, equal parts. That's a really good thing. Now, these glue sticks, they're pretty awesome, man. So, they're washable glue sticks. You get them for a dollar, but I use them on everything, man. This stuff's like a, it's like Elmer's glue. This stuff is okay. It's, it's a fix-it, super glue, fix-it adhesive. It would work, but nothing compares to E6000. Super glues, not for this job. So, let me go ahead and show you how. Now, I could show you this I could get my gun right get my uh, pneumatic gun and shoot a couple in here right but I don't want to jack up the frame I think that with just the e6000 that I can fix this so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how make a circle it's not rocket science you're going to put this through you're gonna tighten around the frame both ways right so here we go. You wanna put the circle in the middle. So you're going to be lassoing a broken frame. So the glue sets and the corner sets properly. So here we go. You want this in the middle or you're gonna be frustrating. You can move it all the way up. Now secure it right there and pull, okay? Pull a little bit better. Make sure everything's lining up. It does look like it's flat. Everything's lined up. Do it again. You're gonna come back in like an hour and restretch it. Okay, so this is done. All I do is take this. You don't have to tie a knot. Just pull it. See, just pull it. Now that's tight. There's, here's the second one. So remember, you don't see it all, but remember, Put this circle in the middle. When you tie it, it won't be a hassle. So let's go ahead and tighten that. Wiggle it through. I'm going to re-tighten uh, this in an hour. Because this is nylon. Same thing. Got the circle. Now, this corner. Let me show you. Hey, look at the corner. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna press it a little bit more. The glue is probably gonna drip. Let's see if it's dripping. But um, that's a pretty good fix. And then I got this. You can use a screwdriver or whatever. I got this. A little stick that you do shish kebabs. And then I run it. You know, I run it. So you won't see the repair. It's already kind of hardening out. I'm gonna let this sit for two days. I'm kind of a stickler for letting this glue set. So there you go. You got your cross coming across. Remember this, you pull tight, this too. You're using string as whatever they call them, the, what they do in wood shop. And you're gonna come back and stretch this. See, it's already loose. It's already loose. You want it tight and snug, not so crazy. Then I'll refill that glue hole with my E6000. This broke. This is the problem. See, this wire broke. So I gotta refix that. I got wire. Let me put it here, see? So, probably restring the whole thing. Yet again, another great idea by Jack. So this was loosening up. I just put a two by four in it underneath, lifted it, and it's got, it's very taut. See, super taut pulling it together looks amazing i'm digging this job i've never done this before but i know how to fix anything